To demonstrate how positive the flow of air escaping the shoe is, a simple rain gauge with the bottom cut out and a ping pong ball is used. Here we see a hose attached to the rain gauge position in the area between the auger housing and the shoe. The ball moves from air being pushed up the hose from within the combine. The same test, shown here with the combine equipped with the airflow control, has a much different result due to the containment of the air within the combine. Air coming out of the combine is one characteristic of the self-leveling shoe addressed by the airflow control. Debris moving into the shoe is another. Here we see a corn cob being thrown into the combine through an open access hole. The corn cob exits the clean grain auger area. In normal operation, debris entering this hole would go into the grain tank. We now see the same access hole covered with a component of the airflow control that prevents debris from entering the combine. Even if the debris shield is removed, material entering the combine is intercepted by seal components as shown here. To demonstrate the considerable opportunity for debris to enter the grain tank, a baseball is shown here being thrown into the combine. As you can see, the ball comes out of the clean grain auger without much delay, sealing off a main area of contamination with the debris shield and providing for seals to intercept material entering from other access areas helps make for cleaner samples with airflow control. Another source of grain tank contamination is material moving from the tailings auger to the clean grain auger. Here we see shelled corn introduced into the tailings area sliding into the tailings auger. Some grain is accelerated over the separator wall in this standard combine. In actual operation, crop residue of all kinds that are in the tailings material can be thrown upward over the wall. An operator can adjust the combine for cleaner samples with sieve and fan settings, but without airflow control, there is no method to prevent debris from going over the separator wall and contaminating the grain tank sample. Here we see the tailings auger cover component of airflow control shown in the test stand which prevents vertical acceleration of material from the tailings auger. When airflow control is installed, this cover combines with the standard separator wall to virtually seal off the tailings area from the clean grain area. We've just seen how grain and other dense material can pass over the separator wall between the tailings auger and clean grain auger. A characteristic of the standard self-leveling shoe is forward movement of air within the shoe underneath the lower shoe assembly. A simple smoke test shows a strong forward movement of air over the separator wall. This air carries lighter material from the tailings area into the clean grain auger area, thereby contaminating the sample and providing another instance where the operator is without opportunity to correct the situation. Another serious consequence of this air movement is that air which should be pushing debris out the back of the combine at the rear of the shoe is being recirculated to the front of the shoe. Lack of control of air within the shoe reduces the effectiveness of the air produced by the cleaning fan. To demonstrate the ramifications of the free air movement within the shoe, we introduce smoke into a partially open access door at the bottom of the auger housing. In this video, smoke is drawn into the standard combine. The same test shown on the combine equipped with airflow control shows a much different result. Notice the air reacting to the oscillation of the shoe. By sealing off the air, the shoe movement is augmented by pressure differentiation within the shoe to keep material from matting down on the sieves. This pressure differentiation is similar to that in a fixed shoe. This differentiation of air pressure can be compared to the principle used by an air wrench to provide much higher torque on a bolt than is felt on the handle of the air wrench. The airflow control is a relatively simple system of sealing components that helps control air and material movement in and around the self-leveling shoe. With it installed, the considerable benefit of grain and material distribution in the combine that a self-leveling shoe provides is retained. 
Control of air, which until now was not available in self-leveling shoe designs, is provided for by the airflow control. The airflow control system can provide cleaner samples, less loss, better combine adjustment ranges in the shoe components, and more capacity, especially in crops like corn that cause high mog loads on the shoe. Field tests consistently have shown superior combine performance with the airflow control installed. I hope this video has helped provide an understanding of the operation of the self-leveling shoe and this improvement that is now available for it.